G'day everyone, welcome to my channel, Marty Groves. This channel mostly features farming simulator gameplay. The episode's about to kick off. I hope you enjoy the show. Please hit the like and subscribe button and feel free to leave a comment. Let's get on with the show. G'day everyone. Welcome back to another episode of my Copy Challenge. It's been a rather busy morning. I've got a load of <laughs> logs behind me. Not a very tidy one, but they're there. And I've also got a load of the sheep milk that we're going to try and take over to the production. I think these logs are going to be well behaved. If everything goes to plan, today is going to be a massive episode. Not sure how it's going to pan out, but I'll try and show everything that's happening at least. So the Zeta is currently hooked up to the sprayer, the John Deere 250 sprayer, because these fields need to get sprayed with herbicide. Over in those trees we've got a soybean field that needs to be harvested. On the other side of the map we've got a barley field that I knew about that needs to be harvested. Um, oh, who's this? Uh, looks like one of our neighbours. Uh, just taking his trailer out to the farm. Hope the logs don't impact him too much. No, he's good. And what we've got his worker following up with the plough. Ah, oh, cultivator. Hi. Okay, they flew past pretty quick. So yes, the barley fields over the other side that will drop straight into the grain mill over there. But I also have all of the planks and furniture to sell. I got most of the planks loaded up already. They've taken forever. Uh, there's two trailer worth of them. I think about 47 or 48 lots per trailer. There's also the furniture that I've spawned and I've got six pallets in one sawmill. The other one ran out of wood with, I think, 975 litres of a pallet of furniture to go. Now it's the one that I want to sell so I can put a bigger sawmill over on the lake farm. So I've dragged just a small log over. It's, it was one of those tiny little trees that you carry around by hand. And I'm hoping before the end of the episode it will produce, <laughs> these logs are crazy, it'll produce a pallet of furniture. Um, I don't want to sell the sawmill with 970 litres of a pallet left in it if I can avoid it. Before I sell it I'll also set the, what is it? Um, Uh, wood chips, that's the word I'm after. I'll set the wood chips just to auto sell in that one. I think there's about 300, oh sorry, 3,000 litres of them to be sold as well. Uh, we'll just drop this wood off on the way through and get this pallet of milk over to the sheep dairy. $2,600 for that. Might just grab some fuel on the way through too because this tractor is going to be pretty busy, I hope. <laughs> it's going to be pretty busy 
in the background just dragging some more logs across to help keep the money coming in. That's another $140 worth of fuel. I think it was last episode or maybe the one before that we filled up with fuel. So I've gone through probably $150 worth of fuel between the tractors every episode not to mention the greedy harvester that cost what 800 I think nearly $900 to fill up oh wow tractors struggling to get up here luckily we only need to get just up there What else today? We have ooh, our first sale of olives as well. I think there were 10 pallets in total produced over the last few months of olive oil, I should say, not just olives. So that'll be pretty cool to sell too. And once ooh, we're spinning the wheels just a little bit, and once all of that has been sold, we'll be able to go on a spending spree and buy lots of stuff. Okay, while I'm up here with this, I might slip over to the other sheep pen and we'll just grab whatever milk is there and bring it across too. Our barley field is all ready to get harvested. I'll just drive through. Oh, we got two pallets here. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Since these rocks don't have too much of a collision, aside from right where I need to be, let's see if I can pick up both pallets. Scratch that. These pallets are really heavy. So after all that manoeuvring, I could have just picked it up at the end. We'll drag both of these over quick. We're only a couple of litres off producing another pallet of cheese as well. Okay, time to... I think time to make some progress with some farm work. So, first up, I will well, grab some of these logs. I've cleared out a few more trees, ready to expand this field here. So, once we harvest this field next time, we'll expand it out this way. I hope to knock down a few more as well, to get it most of the way out. I also cleared out a couple of trees just near that planter because I would like to put a shed in there as well. The chickens are doing really good. We've got a pallet of eggs there and the start of another one happening. They'll come into play later on in the episode if it all goes well. And if it doesn't, they'll sit there for a few more months. Uh, okay, let's get this guy hooked up though and starting back to the sawmill. maximum weight. So I'll probably cut that tree down and grab these logs plus that tree next time. Which could be several hours away given the amount of work that we need to get through today. Just make sure this guy's on his way to the sawmill. And I'll start the harvester uh, before or oh, actually, I should send the Zeta over ahead of this one. That way the Zeta won't do its normal trick of 
crashing into the logs. That's logical and all that stuff. I do have the smaller spray unit over at the other farm, but because we've got three fields to get through today, it sort of makes sense to send the bigger one over. fairly certain I have at least a half a pallet of herbicide over there already as well so at worst case we'll need to grab a pallet and bring it over while he's on his way to the sawmill I'm gonna go over hop in the harvester and start this field going and it should make a nice difference once I come to slightly expand this field down. Given the amount of work we actually have to get through today, I'm not sure we'll get to actually replant this field. Okay, 5.3 metres, 4 headlands and generate. Again, it's going up and down alongside the river rather than towards it, which I really like. Okay. Okay, I've already got some flower loaded. I'm just hoping that trailer isn't too close to the field. Uh, it gets blocked by the harvester, or the harvester gets blocked by it also stacked up our olive oil and we'll go sell that as soon as I can free up a tractor okay so the John Deere has reached the sawmill I might go and sell the logs off him then get it over here so I can move that trailer onto the field quick so the harvester will be able to unload into it. Made pretty good time coming down here. That's five grand worth of wood too. Now get him sent back up to grain mill. And while he trundles up there, the Zeta's reached its parking spot. So I'll get it going with the herbicide spraying because it's going to take quite a while getting through those three fields. Okay, we'll get him going on this one, and uh, yeah, ah that's right, I joined this field up so it's a nice weird shape now. It will do three times going around before it goes up and down, but that's fine. We'll leave it to its own devices for now and just jump back to the John Deere because I really need to move that trailer onto the barley field for the harvester. As I said, this is going to be a bit of a busy episode because there's a lot of stuff to sell. I want to get this field at least harvested, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get it replanted. And over in the distance, we have a lot of logs that we, oh, logs, a lot of planks that we need to get sold. Yeah, it should do at least two more loads while we try and move all those planks down to the salt point. The trailers are slightly overloaded, I think, but if we're careful, we should get there. 
also considering trying to buy another harvester. However, we'll get away from it a bit so it's a bit quieter because, well, that's noisy. However, if I buy another one, I'd want it to be able to do corn and sunflower as well. And I don't think any of the really cheap ones will do that. Uh, it could potentially be something that I'm going to have to save up for over a couple of episodes. Once we get this unloaded, I'll hop across to the 150 and we'll, <laughs> assuming I can actually reverse it, we'll hop across to the 150 and we'll start the planks heading for the sawmill because I think they're at a reasonable price now. Okay, planks are going for 2500 which is over there, max posted price, so it's definitely time to get them down and sold. I'll just drop this trailer off in the field once the harvester goes past, because we already know that it will be nice and drive over and empty into it with the horse player on just so the John Deere isn't sitting around or nothing, we'll hook up these couple of logs and just drag them down to the sawmill too. Alright, we'll send him down to the sawmill then we'll hop across and have a look at the 150 where it's hooked up to one of the trailers of planks. Three logs must feel like a breeze after pretty much overloading that every other time. This trailer has moved about 90 degrees. It was straight up and down and it's just turned all the way around. So 49 pallets of wood on there, or planks on there. We'll go get it sold, assuming I can get across the bridge. And then all the way to the salt point. I'll see you down there. think it'll make a diff. Ooh. Oh, saved it. Phew, that was close. I don't think it'll make a difference. Um, selling the two lots of planks a couple of minutes apart. At worst case, the price might go up by a dollar. Okay, 129,000, 140,000 with the environmental score bonus for that load of links. Now this trailer used to face the other direction and while I was loading it, it did a 180 degree spin. There's 46 pallets on this one, so we won't get quite as much. Try and turn around without driving into the field though. And head off to the cell point for this one. 
Hey, we made it without mishap. So this is probably going to be about 135,000. Trailer gets a little bit unbalanced. Well, that's annoying. It didn't all sell at once. So 120, yeah, about 130,000. Which is still nothing to laugh at. Alright. I'll send this back to the sawmill. Let's see if I can turn around as well, just so I'm facing the right direction to get out of here. Assuming, of course, the trailer doesn't decide to do its 180 degree wobble dance. Okay, should be alright. Uh, move it over a little bit so I don't have to try and take it as far. It's good that I don't need to be quite as um, tidy, I suppose the word is. Loading up these since there's only 11 of them at present. Ugh, that'll do. But I will run across and grab the weight that's just over here. It's a nice John Deere branded weight. Uh, you get how heavy it is. It's about a thousand kilos. And before I do too much more, it's like we're going to need to get the John Deere on that trailer and sell it because the harvester is unloading into the trailer again. I said this would be a easy little episode. Oh no, the harvester's still going okay. John Deere is blocked by the roller over there, but for now we'll do a couple of pallets of furniture. Okay, that wasn't too bad, but I hope that shows why I didn't show loading nearly 200 pallets. Sorry, 100 pallets. 46 plus 49 makes just under 100. Got a bit of honey there too. Alright, the harvester's finished. And the sprayer's finished. We'll do with the harvester first, I think. Um, I suppose I should come and make an effort to pick up at least most of this straw as well. I don't 
don't know if this will fit in here or not. Nope, trailer's full. Okay, plan B. So that's 12,000 litres in the trailer and just off 6,500 in the harvester. Plus another six and a half thousand that we got right at the start is what twenty four thousand litres of barley off this field. That is pretty damn good. Okay, I need to send this over to the lake farm because we have a soybean field over there that needs to be done. Ooh, I can drive across the field now. Alright, we'll empty the trailer into the grain mill and then I think we'll send it over to the other farm as well because we'll need it over there to get the soybeans once the harvester's done them. Yeah, that was 12,000 litres. I uh, better jump into productions and make sure that this is set to actually make barley flour. And it was not, so we'll get that activated. We've got canola and olive still processing away. So this one can also go over the other side. Get it started and drop that back wheel down. And see how we go. Okay, our biggest load of wood to date I think was about 15,000, I think that one's going to go close to equaling it, so I'm going to go 15. Ah, oh. 13 and a half, still pretty good. Okay, looks like it did a pretty good job of the field. Get him going. Go, go, Zeta. Once I get him on his way back over to the river farm, we'll come back and get the harvester started on that little soybean field. Okay, this has to go over to field 23, southern end, probably a good spot for it. Where is that going? No, it decided to start at the other end of the field. Alright. It's just fine. Okay, I'll wait for it to do a uh, pass and then the John Deere can drop this trailer down. Is it going to miss? Them? Oh no, it's at all up. That's pretty good. Cool. Alright, I 
run over and bring the John Deere over here and just park it on that strip in case we actually get a full load. Nothing really that the John Deere needs to do, although I could go and I might send him over to where the bigger chicken pen is. Yeah, I'll send him over to where the big chicken pen is, well, the small big one, and we'll chop down a few more trees and drag them over to the sawmill at some stage. So I'll see if I can get a course set up him to pick up some of this straw. Looks pretty similar to what the harvester did because I forgot to copy the harvester course. But looks like it's going to follow it pretty good at least for the first few rounds. Okay now as I said under selling some furniture. feels weird looking at the uh, forklift from this side. I'm so used to doing it with the view on the other side of Drafter. Got a beautiful spot left just there for it. Okay, I am super happy that that spawned for us. I can sell that now. Well, shortly. See you down at the sell point. Hey, another successful trip down the hill without crashing. I think that'll get all the furniture pallets. Well, so 47,000 plus nearly 4,000 environmental scores, 51,000. And another 26, 28,000 for the blank pallet. So 350,000 in total including the trailer load of wood and about the six grand I had to start with which makes it mm, I don't know, 330,000 odd is a pretty good effort now as I said we've got a trailer load of olive oil to sell there's mm, 16 pellets on here need to go into our new cell point. Ideally without crashing. Before we sell I'll just have a look at how much it's all worth. Okay, olive oil, 6,305. And that's pretty close to the highest. It's on its way down already. And we just made $1,600 off the straw. Hopefully I can get this all to sell in one go. 
Wow. Hundred and nine thousand dollars worth of olive oil. That's crazy. Not the easiest place to get out from. Alright, I'm gonna send this guy uh, over to our sawmill quick. Wow, so we're now sitting on $461,000. That's pretty insane. I was happy, well, 12 episodes ago when I hit 230. That was selling all the wood, or all, all the planks, and the furniture at that stage. Well, I believe we're up to checking out the soybean. Making sure that harvester finished without a problem. That was easy. Yeah, finished the field. Sort of. I might pick up these last little bits. I didn't see what it unloaded into the trailer. I think it was about 2,000. Blah blah blah. Can't roll while it's extended. I think this will be the next fuel that we do. Turn that off because it's so noisy. Yep, this will be ready next month and wow, it's a big field. So 1900 and well, just under 1900 and 50 litres of soybean off that tiny field. Okay, I think it's time we spent some of our money. Well, probably most of our money. So much to do. But I think we're going to start over at our old sawmills will probably be a really good place to start all of this. Okay, let's jump into the construction menu. It's the sawmill that we managed to empty out. $400, but how much do I get for the production? I think 5000 I don't know. It's confusing. So anyway, we need a new production to go in here. Our donut factory. It can go there. And I'm going to add in... Hopefully two of these. To help cover the running cost. Okay, so there's our first purchase. Why is this tractor over here? Because... I need to pick up some egg pellets to drop into it. It doesn't really matter right now since we don't have the sugar yet. But if I throw these in, at least they're out of the way. there, it just doesn't show the top pallet. There we go. So the donut factory needs eggs flour and sugar to run. I 
I don't have the sugar yet because, well, the sugar beet isn't ready to harvest and I don't have a sugar mill to convert the sugar beet to sugar. But I'm going to bring it across the flower in a minute just so that that's out of the way too. You should all be used to me changing my mind halfway through doing something by now. Uh, we might as well get this field planted because I'm in a flowery mood. Assuming I don't break this. We're going to go with sunflowers. no good at all. Alright, looks like we're spending money on something different. He can go down to the store. While he's driving down to the store, we'll jump into the store menu. And grab a plough. Uh, I'm okay green because I think the last thing I bought I did purple. That looks pretty cool. May as well top up on fuel since it's right there. So only $40 and we'll see if we can upgrade this again. Alright, as with everything, if I don't think about it too much, I won't regret it. A 9 metre plough would be really nice. Better 6 metres, not too shabby. Okay, let our massive spending spree begin. First up, we're going to grab plot 14. that joins up all of our farms nicely and I'll be able to put in an auto drive course going through here now I'd like to expand that field across here now so to begin with we need an oil mill So extended oil plant for a measly 80,000. Drop off on that side, or drop off on the front, pick up on the right. So that takes care of our soybean and ooh, our sunflowers, fancy that. Uh, what else did we want to get? I was looking at a different one initially, but this is cheaper. So I think if we put it there, we can still expand that field slightly. So that's pretty good. I'll worry about the auto drive paths later on. Sawmill. Now, do I put that here? I think so. Rather than expand this field, I think I'll put the sawmill in. I think there will be good. Now. Okay, as a all right, as a new mod that I want to try out, we have a coal factory. 
Looks like we just chuck in the wood. And out comes bags of coal that we can sell. And for the final thing that we need, a couple of bridges. Uh, it looks like that one's going to fit there pretty good. Just need to flatten out that side of it. And to be able to get... I think that's our shorter one. To be able to get into this area. We'll just put this one here. and need to do a little bit of levelling on either side of it. And I was thinking of putting one here as well, just so it's a bit easier to get off or get over to this side too. I think we're good there. Just have to slightly level out either end of it. That's brought us down to $80,000. I need that to be bigger. Okay, I'll come and tidy this up a little bit better later on. Uh, yes, you might say, woohoo, plenty of money. There's our cool sawmill. Our sugar factory that we don't have any sugar beet for just yet. And our extended oil mill that will take soybeans and turn into oil. So I need to get a couple of fields of soybeans going, I think. And we're going to need this tractor over at that big canola field, so I'll take it over there. This machine will dig the sugar beet out of the ground and this one will cut the tops off them. Now this will pick it up off the ground and drop it into a trailer. Uh, I don't think I want that one just yet. We'll see how we go with these two first. Don't tell me you're surprised that I'm making it purple. Uh, attach a type. Don't know what AM6 is, so we'll go with standard. If it's no good, we can change it. And then the diggery outery. Ooh, I can have two colours. Green and purple, not too bad. That should take care of the sugar beet. Now we have front loader tools. Alright, we've got a universal bucket. Now I'm leaving it at standard capacity because unrealistic even at 5,000 seems to be a bit much. It's got to go on the front loader. I don't have any teeth on it. Yeah, got a nice little purple bit there. So this will be used to pick up the sugar beet off the ground and put them into a trailer with the front loaders. We are going to get a bigger grain trailer. So 
So with the extension on, it makes it 44,000. I hope the... We'll make that one purple. Yeah, that's a yucky purple. That's better. Blends in. And we'll make the rim color green as well. For 31000 And suddenly our $460,000... Has turned into eleven grand. Ah, yes, we're ploughing up this field. All right, I'm gonna finish the episode here because it has been a really long one. Hopefully, there's not too much cut out of interest. Once this guy has finished ploughing, I'm going to swap over to the planter just there and throw sunflowers in this field. As far as the liming goes, it might have to happen next month. It should still be alright for it to happen then. And I don't remember if that does fertiliser or not. I think it does do fertiliser at the same time, so we won't need to fertilise this field separately at least. You can just see the stacks of, I think, the oil mill in the trees in the distance. This has been a huge episode. We sold all of our planks and furniture. We also sold our olive oil and a fairly big load of logs to bring us up to $460,000. We then proceeded to spend all of that hard-earned money. We got a little plough, which was pretty cheap, granted. Uh, we got our donut factory over there after we sold our, one of our sawmills. Purchased another plot of land, plot 14. Then we proceeded to buy a bigger sawmill, a sugar mill, some equipment to be able to harvest the sugar beet in a month or two, the extended oil mill mod, which lets us do. Uh, soy bean oil and also corn oil in addition to the standard olive, sunflower and canola oil and we put in a little wood to coal production just because it looked cool basically and I wanted to try it out. Uh, the bags of coal sell for about a thousand dollars so it doesn't make much money. It probably breaks about even as far as money goes compared to uh, what we could sell the wood for. But it was just a little mob that I wanted to try. Whether we keep it running or not remains to be seen. Might just have a quick look at how the price fluctuates for that one. Okay, I stand corrected. At $600, you would be better off selling the timber. However, it looks like we'll be stockpiling those pallets because at $2,600, it's about a 100% increase on what we could sell the wood for. So it might not be quite as bad as I expected. Alright, that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and I will catch you all in July. Welcome back everyone. It looks like we've reached the end of another episode. I hope you enjoyed the show. 
please hit the like button, subscribe, and feel free to leave a comment if I've done something or you think I should try or do something else. I hope to see you all again in the next episode. Back in my box.